Welcome back to another Workspace Academy tutorial created by Media Agility, the premier Google partner for helping users and admins work smarter and get the most out of your investment in Google Workspace. In this video, we're going to cover data loss prevention for Google Drive, what it is, and how you can get started to begin proactively protecting your organization's sensitive data. If you find this video helpful, be sure to like and subscribe below. Let's get started. So DLP for Drive scans your organization's drive data looking for sensitive information as defined by you and your teams. You can then rely on the AI and ML behind Workspace to act on your behalf based on the rules that you have in place. Uh, it's a really powerful security tool available for admins. So as you can see, here we are in the admin console. We're simply going to use the left-hand menu to navigate to the rules section to get started. And then we will build out a rule and I'll show you sort of the fastest way for, for admins to get started. So here we are in rules. As you can see, we can build out a, a lot of different stuff, but again, today we are focusing on drive data loss prevention. So here we're going to create a rule. And this is a data protection rule. This is how you create a rule from scratch. We'll take another look uh, towards the end at a sort of faster way to really get up and running with DLP and get some, uh, some simple rules in place for your organization. For this test rule, we're going to call it, uh, we want to stop social security number sharing. So we'll call it SSN sharing, and we are going to stop SSN sharing. We don't want any social security numbers to come into or out of our organization, primarily out of, in this case. Uh, we don't want anything leaving our drive, getting out into the wild that contains social security numbers, which is a very defined number. For this, we're going to keep it for all of Media Agility. As you can see, you can include groups, exclude groups. So if C-level or accounting have to have the ability to send something, they can have that ability. Uh, move on now that we've created the sort of the who we're looking for and, and what we're looking for. We're, we're looking at all of Media Agility data. We're looking at Google Drive. We're looking for files created, modified, upload, or shared. That's the big one is the shared part. Um, We've defined that. We can move forward and add our conditions or our triggers. For this, we're, we're going to be scanning all content and we're going to look for predefined data type here because social security number is a very well-defined numeric, um, numeric data type. So we simply put this in here. We select the data type. As you can see, we have a very extensive list, but as we come down here to the bottom, we'll find United States and keep going social security number right here we can add it and again this is a very well defined number so we can have the threshold be very likely if we wanted to add another condition uh let's say you're looking for also swift numbers or bank account numbers or anything else we could do that for the sake of this quick demo we're just going to move forward uh, again, now we define the action. So we've set the rule. If any drive data for any member of Media Agility contains a social security number, we've set the rule, we've set the condition, it contains a social security number, now we set the action. So within Google Drive, for a social security number, we want to completely block on external sharing. If we wanted to, if it was a perhaps a, a less sensitive form of data, we could warn on external sharing. You can also disable download, print, and copy for commenters and viewers. And the, uh, the newest thing here is apply drive labels, which that's a little more in depth. We'll have to get to that in a later episode. So for this one, we simply select block external sharing. Social security numbers are a, a it's a big, uh, it's a big thing out there. So, so this is a, a high priority. We want to make sure that we alert this as a high priority. We send an alert to the alert center. In this case, we may want to alert all super admins. We may also want to add our legal team so we can add them through, uh, through this button right here. Moving forward, this is just a quick review, looking over all of our details. This gives you one last chance to make sure that everything looks good before you set this rule in action. So again, we're looking at the rule details, SSN sharing, we're gonna stop that. The scope, looking at all of media agility, not excluding anything. The apps is Google Drive, file created, modified, uploaded, or shared. The condition is looking for a social security number in all content. And if happened, alert is enabled, Google Drive, block external sharing, and this is a high severity, so all of your admins are going to be alerted at the same time. We create that rule, and now we can set it as active or inactive. The, the big difference here, inactive is really more in audit mode. This is where you will get alerts. You will see that this is, is showing alerts that this type of data is being sent external of your environment, but it will not be blocked 
until the rule is made active. Inactive is really just a way to sort of audit your environment and see what your employees are sending and what they aren't. Uh, so for this, we're going to have it as active. We don't want SSNs going in or leaving our organization. So we go ahead and set that as active and we're good to go. Now, again, I did tell you at the beginning, we're going to also look at a, a quick way to get started for a, a number of different rules. Google makes this super easy. If you're rolling out your first DLP rule, we have templates. Simply click on the, the templates and you're going to see we can prevent financial information sharing, health information sharing, PII in the U.S., uh, PHI in the U.S. And then they also have Canadian, U.K., Spain, France, uh, a number of different templates for your use. And just to take it one step further, if we look at international preventing financial information sharing, for instance, what happens here is Google uses these templates to already define a lot of the uh, the conditions, the actions, etc. We can choose what's in scope for our organization. We'll just go ahead and leave it as all. And then you see, again, it's Google Drive centric. And here are all the conditions. We're looking for global credit card numbers. We're looking for global bank account numbers. Uh, another type of global bank account number here, the SWIFT number. And then also your ADA routing numbers and your CUSIPs. So this is just a great way to get started with DLP. Use the templates, get some stuff in place, keep them inactive. If you just want to see what's going on in your environment, it's a great way to audit your users and really get a, a high level overview of, of how uh, sensitive documents are being treated today. Uh, so I, I really hope you guys found this helpful. Thank you for watching. For more Google Workspace tips, tricks, tools, and how-tos, please be sure to subscribe. And if you and your team want to get even more out of your Google Workspace licenses with guaranteed support times, expert advisory, proactive feature release updates, and more, all at no cost to you, contact Media Agility today using the link in the description. Till next time, here's to working smarter with Google Workspace.